你好，我叫布尼，我五岁，我爱爸爸，我爱妈妈，我爱爷爷，我爱奶奶，我爱我的家。你好，你好，大熊猫，呀咪呀咪，巧克力，谢谢，谢谢，大熊猫。再见，再见，大熊猫。小兔子，快快把河边开开，快点开开，我家好奶奶，睁开，睁开，我睁开，妈妈回来了，妈妈家睁开。I'm going to tell you all about these shapes, okay? Okay. 这是什么形状？圆形，这是什么形状？正方形，这是什么形状？长方形，这是什么形状？三角形。This is how to say pink. Um, apple. Pink or. And I know a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. I can say watermelon for you. 大西瓜。今天星期几？ The thing that has been most exciting to me is that there has become, there has started being some generalization. In other words, she's not just using the words in class. Uh, we'll be driving down the road, and I hear her behind me in her car seat singing one of the Chinese songs that they've learned. Here we are, only one quarter in on the first year of kindergarten. You know, first year of elementary school. Our kids are in kindergarten. We are simply thrilled. We we're just thrilled. Um, our children love the program. They love going to the schools, um, to school. Uh, both Miss Veter and uh, Miss Jones are terrific teachers. They're on game, uh, well organized. You know, we get the homework every week in a packet. It's got the the, the Mandarin part, the English part, but they're well coordinated. It, it's just been working out great. Children love it. We love it. We can see the progress. What more can you ask for? Our tax dollars at work. This is like a pretty amazing outcome. Yeah, I think for my part, I think the relationship, the working relationship between the English teacher and Mandarin teacher, is just phenomenal. They are just amazing. They work so tight together to deliver the best quality of the Mandarin program. The greatest benefits of a unified school district is to have those supports, for sure. That that there are a whole team of people working on a new project, and so I think it stands to reason that Chandler Unified School District would look to let's let's assemble a team. The Center for Applied Linguistics has put out some standards of this is what takes to make a good dual language immersion program. And so we've taken those standards, there's seven of them, and they have criteria under each one. And so we can really look at that as a team, as a dual language immersion team, and identify where are we, even at the very infancy, infancy stage of this program, and identify where are we and where do we need to go. So it'll help us set some goals, work toward those goals, and continually reevaluate where we are and what we what we need to be doing. I use multimedia to engage uh, each student. Uh, for example, I use an uh, interaction game to involve them. I use uh, sign language to let them understand the language. I use uh, a vocabulary picture. I use the smart board to let the kids interact with uh, language. While she's teaching Chinese, I'll be there to support my students and kind of walk around and monitor and assist Mrs. Xiao in any way that I can. My role as a teacher is to encourage my students and give them that confidence and also give my parents the confidence. I want them to feel at ease with the program and know that we're all on the same side working together. I think the biggest benefit is that we're creating a culture and a group of students, uh, parents and teachers that have no boundaries, they're accepting of another culture, 
and not just learning the language, but they're truly understanding the culture and can accept the culture. We've been able to talk about um, procedural assistance, so practicing rules and procedures with students and the importance of students having routines that they can count on. Another area that we've been able to support is the area of small group instruction, which, which is incredibly important for both our students and our teachers. Um, we know that as the rigor increases in the curriculum that we're expecting, then we have opportunities to pull children in small groups to give them either additional assistance with a skill that they need help with or to give them enrichment activities for those that have already mastered the skill perhaps and need more. Because the battery immersion cur curriculum we are using right now is aligned with the Arizona State curriculum so that has been very beneficial for us when, we, when it comes to planning for social study and science we feel like it's so much easier since the materials we are using using for the Mandarin part is already aligned with the standards. As far as mathematics goes, I am instructing the core piece of the instruction. So I'm taking um, the direct instruction where, and then the opportunity where they're getting um, to do some independent practice with the piece of skills. Um, then they go into um, Ms. Wan's room and they're able to um, practice the same skills that they learned from me the previous day. and practice it in Mandarin. There's been a ton of parent meetings that, you know, they're always talking to us about, you know, where they're going or what the next step is or what the goals are. And having that communication through uh, the teachers has been a big, um, big relief to me to just know that this is something that our school is passionate about. And, you know, just being able to uh, see that passion has really put a, a lot of excitement in, you know, ease on some of my concerns that I had. Our experience with Tarwater and Chandler School District has been phenomenal. The support, um, the interaction and involvement from top to bottom from the teachers to administrations here at the school. I think, they, I think they're doing a very good job at helping us stay on track and to know what, what we should be doing um, with the Better Immersion program that they had come out on the website. and. And that's actually helping me at home to, to learn a little bit more with my son. So no, I think the school and the, the people that are over the program are doing a great job. Their brains are little sponges and they're just soaking it all up. And right now, the opportunity to go all the way to high school, it just seems so amazing. And I didn't want to pass it up for her. I wanted her to learn that, to learn about the culture which is exciting, and to have kind of a little family, you know, to have her little Mandarin family and her friends that she's going to know as she keeps going on in middle school and high school, have them all there with her. Tarwater already has a great community, but these are a group of people that specifically want this for their children and are motivated to make this happen and to see it succeed. And so it's just a great program to be a part of, not only for our children, but for the parents, because we have our, our own support system that we're creating. And we can help the, the kids to the best of our ability, but we also have each other. We're not in this alone. There are probably two main reasons why I was excited about her being an immersion program. One is probably the issue of just kind of world citizenship. The second thing is that I, from the research I've done and things I've read, even if she never does anything with this, if she doesn't go on to travel back and forth between China or work in a big corporation and translate Chinese, even if she just has it as something in her educational background, I believe that her brain will be cooler having those two modalities of language. <gasps> I, oh, this is the last thing that I'm gonna say. Fruit, shrekwa, that's the last thing.